guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to do like a review and comparison. As you guys can tell from the title, I do, oops, I do have this Revlon One Step Volumizer. I literally haven't even taken it out of the box. I'm sure you guys have already heard of this and seen other people use it, but I've never used it. So I'm going to use this on one side of my hair. Um, I think I'll use it on this side. And then I'm going to compare it to the original Revlon One Step Blow Dryer brush. So I'm a little embarrassed y'all. This brush, it, it has a little bit of lint in it, a little bit of old blonde hair from when I was blonde. So don't, don't judge me. I'm just scared to like clean it. Maybe I could take like a cloth. I'm scared to clean it because like it's electric. Um, but anyways, just don't mind that. Anyways, um, this is what that looks like. The One Step Blow Dryer, which you guys have seen me use plenty of times on my channel. I do really, really enjoy this brush still. Um, the only thing I've ever complained about this brush is just how insanely hot it gets. So I typically don't use this on high heat. Um, I like to use it on low because low is still like high in my opinion um and then occasionally i will use this on cool if i just feel like minimizing heat but yeah this will be used on this side this one says what salon blowouts in up to half the time 22 percent more shine 36 percent less breakage um and it says it helps reduce damage from the ceramic technology. So yeah. So this is what this looks like. I'm excited to try this. I hope I know what the heck I'm doing. And then we have this. So we are going to see which one is better. All right, so I will occasionally pop in with a voiceover. My hair has been washed and conditioned with some new products that I will talk about later, but I am going to apply a little bit of my Goddess Curls Divine Hair Elixir onto my scalp just to make sure you know i don't have any dryness and my scalp does not flake rub that on in and then after i section my hair i am going to add one pump per section of the paul mitchell super skinny serum which is a heat protectant it's going to help you know reduce damage add a little bit of shine etc now it is time to blow dry i did choose to use low heat because the high heat setting is just like the original revlon brush it is hot um so this was my first time using a round oval type of blow dry brush like this i definitely should have just continued working my way through the ends up to the roots instead of trying to like wrap it and glide it so that was my mistake but i did just end up detangling this section first and then going in with the brush which just made it much easier for me um i know some people might think this section is too large but the directions say to work in manageable sections it does not say to work in super small sections so for me personally this is a manageable section it's not too big um not too thick or anything like that so yeah I am just going to use this thing and once I kind of got the hang of it, I really did like, you know, the process of it. Kind of like just wrapping the hair around it and cir circular motions. I did try my best to go on top of my hair and under my hair just to make sure that every strand of hair is getting that heat. Um, so you guys can just watch the process. This is my hair blow dried. Oh my hair is getting long, okay. But yeah, it definitely, it feels nice and smooth. It really feels very smooth. 
I think that has to do with not only the brush, but with this too. So I do like that. Um, as it started to get drier, it definitely became much easier to like just glide around the um brush. So yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this side and then you guys can see what it looks like. And then I will do um i will do this side with the other brush but so far i really really like it okay now we are going to pause for a minute i realized that i did not use the high heat at all and i really wanted to give you guys a full like review of this so i'm using the high heat because it has cool low and high um and y'all the high is very very hot just like i said the original revlon brush gets very very hot on the highest setting which is why i do not use it out use it at all and this does the exact same thing oh my god I, my neck was burning my jewelry was burning my neck once i got to my roots it was burning if i touched my hair it was very 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 hot so for me personally it was just very uncomfortable to do this one section so i did not do the rest of my hair but i did just want to show you the results i get from using the high heat um now keep in mind both of the brushes have a wattage of 1100 so it's the same exact heat settings i'm assuming so as you guys can see, my hair got so straight with this volumizer on high heat compared to it on low heat. However, I am not going to be doing my full head on high heat because like I said, it was just so uncomfortable and so insanely hot that I just could not see myself ever taking this out and using it on high. But this could be the results that you might get if you can handle the hot heat and you use it on high i definitely did like these results um so yeah keep that in mind i did just want to share this with you guys in case you wanted to see it on high heat now the next clip i did take another section and use the original blow dryer brush on high heat as well and i wanted to show you guys the comparison the volumizer definitely wins for me on the high heat setting it definitely was sleeker um the only con i would say is for some reason this volumizer poofs up a lot quicker than the um original blow dryer brush which i feel like kind of defeats the sleekness like if it's just gonna poof right on up i don't know but yeah i just wanted to show you guys this real quick we are now going to go right on back to me using it on the low heat setting for the rest of the video all right you guys so like i said this is me back to the original video just using the low heat setting um so using the heat protectant detangling it then going in with the volumizer to you know blow dry it so i'm gonna be quiet now so you guys can just see what this looks like All right, you guys, so this is my hair completely blow dried with the volumizer. And I like the results. I think this is a really good blowout. Um, I'm not sure what the difference will be when I use the other one. Um, so we're gonna have to see. I'm gonna kind of fast forward through that one just because I've already done videos on that. So like I said, I'm gonna speed past this part and I'm just going to use the original Paddle Revlon blow dryer brush on this side um, and show you guys what the results are looking like. I forgot to mention at the end, but both of these 
brushes literally i did not have much um shedded hair i feel like they were pretty much equal i thought the volumizer would have a lot more shedded hair just because it feels like it's pulling it more but y'all it literally was barely anything so as that none of them neither of them caused like significant breakage at least for me and my hair Okay, you guys, so this is what this side is looking like. And then this is what this side is looking like. All right, so my thoughts. I feel like my hair looks different. I really don't know how to describe it. This side, oh, let me start with this side. This side, the volumizer, it just looks and feels fluffier in my opinion. It feels more lightweight. It's softer. I thought they were like the same in softness. This side is softer. However, this side, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know if it feels like it just has like, it looks like it has more texture or it's straighter. I'm not really sure. You guys let me know down below. But I feel like this side definitely looks a little different than this side. So um, this side is soft, but I definitely can't say it's not as soft as this side. Like there's like this soft fluffiness going on on this side. So for softness, I will say the volumizer wins. As far as um, timing, there's not too much of a big time difference as far as the blow dry. I'll try to put specific time stamps on the screen because I'll have to look back at the footage. But this side, I cannot go in immediately unless maybe I take much smaller sections. But who really wants to do that? So yeah, this one I can say definitely gets the hair drier faster but not by much it's not huge it's not significant but it does get it faster so based off of the fact that the high heat setting for both brushes is just too hot and, and uncomfortable for me um i can only judge these brushes off of the low heat setting and honestly i don't really have one that i like more than the other i feel like they're just so identical that really it just goes off of your preference and i feel like you would have to literally try these out for yourself to determine which one is best now as far as pricing goes y'all these are both the same freaking price they're both 39.99 so i feel like i don't know i just feel like whichever one you gravitate towards like you should just get because i don't really feel like there's too much of a difference for me to say one is better than the other at least on my hair and the result and the results that i have i feel like they're pretty darn comparable so yeah yeah this was interesting to do this was interesting to try out now i do know that they came out with a volumizer 2.0 i don't think i'm gonna get that because i just I don't feel compelled, especially after these results, to get it. But um, if you guys have tried it, let me know down below if there's any difference. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if you guys have tried the volumizer or the original Revlon One Step blow dryer brush. Um, and let me know which one you guys like better. Or comment down below and let me know which side you guys like better. Because I, I feel like I like this side better. So yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video.